it is time for us to adopt a new company brand. Oh my God, this f had 22,000 people watching his like metaverse reveal. Are you serious? God damn, 22K Andy, pathetic, bro. Holy shit. That's like gaming numbers, dude. What the f That's actually crazy that like, this is such a gigantic reveal supposedly. That's and like, fun. and despite the fact that it's supposed to be like this gigantic reveal, this big reveal, like you only got 22,000 people watching. And to encompass Fell everything off. that we do. To reflect who we are and what we hope to build. I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now meta our mission remains the same it's still about bringing people together our apps and their brands they're not changing either and we are still the company that designs technology around people hey and welcome to connect today we're gonna talk oh shit that's a fat drop off now 13k are watching that sucks chirp them thank you for the five get the subs so I love that like in the midst of like congressional investigations, Facebook papers or whatever the fuck, that revealed that uh, teenagers spending too much time, teenagers spending too much time on the internet uh, is like actually hurting their brains severely. Like when those revelations came from Facebook's own internal documents, Mark Zuckerberg was like, you know what we need to do? We need to be even more online. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, that's going to fix the problem. Just like, put your body into the mainframe, dude. Love that. Talk about the metaverse. Starting with the most important experience of all, connecting with people. Teenagers on Facebook? I don't know if you know this, but Instagram is owned by teen, uh, Instagram is owned by Facebook. And that has like a younger audience. But even then, I mean, Donald Trump Jr. memes pop off on Instagram. So clearly it's not all... It's not that young anymore. Any platform that get, that uh, uh, has like Donald Trump Jr. memes that get like 400,000 likes is no longer a relevant platform and is no longer a platform for the youth. Imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually. It has things that are only possible virtually. And it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. Bro, this shit is terrifying, dude. Okay, one thing that like people don't realize though, this shit is terrifying, but also like VR headsets are kind of doo-doo still. I'm sorry. You know, as someone who has like done VR streams, I can tell you that uh, the technology behind the VR shit still is, is not there yet. Like it's not good for like, the average consumer to put on like you will throw up all right perfect <laughs> oh hey mark hey what's going on hey, Hi. Mark. what's up mark whoa we're floating in space uh -huh. who made this place it's <laughs> awesome right it's from the crater i met in la uh this place is Amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is so bad, dude. This is so bad. It's awesome. Oh, I thought I was supposed to be the robot. Laugh now or else you will be subjected to endless punishment. I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> Hey, wait, where is Naomi? Let's yes, call her. Naomi. <laughs> Did that say T-Pain? Naomi. Three days ago, T-Pain, Vin Diesel, he has Vin. Wait, why are those the relevant celebs on there? Well, I mean, shouts out to T-Pain. Love him, okay? Twitch streamer T-Pain. But like... <laughs> hey, should we deal you in? Hey. Sorry, I'm running late, but you've got to see what we're checking out. There's an artist going around Soho hiding AR pieces for people to find. Oh my god! 3D street art? That's cool. Send that link over so we can all look at it. This is stunning. Okay, that is something. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, I love the movement. Wait, it's, it's disappearing. This is amazing. Hold on. I'll tip the artist and they'll extend it. Wow. Brilliant. Privacy. <laughs> I'll tip the artist and they'll extend it, dude. 
Yo, you can't even look at like augmented reality art without it like without having to tip it, dude. Yo, I I hate the future, okay? I'm sorry, this sucks. Oh my god, this sucks. Privacy and safety need to be built into the metaverse from day one. Oh, you'll get oh, to oh, that's that's funny. Privacy and safety, you say? Interesting. Oh yeah, no, totally. This mother is literally. A, oh my god. If this actually held any weight, like if this could like actually be launched in a meaningful capacity, I swear to God, it's like you can now storm the White House in the metaverse. Okay, you can now beat up nurses that want you to get a vaccine in the metaverse your children still call you i'm mark zuckerberg and the metaverse is awesome please tap in so we can you know take your bodily fluids at this point and also uh make money off of that somehow decide when you want to be with other people when you want to block someone from appearing in your space or when you want to take a break and teleport to a private bubble to be alone you're going to be able to bring things from the physical world into the metaverse. Almost any type of media that can be represented digitally, photos, videos, art, music, movies, books, games, you name it. Now, lots of things that are physical today, like screens, will just be able to be holograms in the future. You won't need a physical TV, it'll just be a $1 hologram from some high school kid halfway across the world. And you'll be able to take your items and project them into the physical world as holograms and augmented reality too. That was very weird. That was a very weird thing he just said. What? One part of this is Horizon Home, which is our early vision for a home space in the metaverse. Horizon Home. Yeah, you might be living in a dumpster, okay? Ass cheek to ass cheek with your neighbors in like paper thin walls because San Francisco real estate is literally impossible to survive in. But hey, when you put on your metaverse glasses, okay. all of a sudden, you're in a house like the one I own in the real world. Is the first thing that you'll see when you put on your Quest headset. Today, there are already a bunch of options to choose from, and in the future, anyone will be able to create one. We've just called it home until now because it's been missing something very important, people. Soon, we're going to be introducing a social version of home, where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. You'll be able Bro, what the f dude i'm old i'm officially old dude i'm literally officially old first of all all of this is going to be used for okay if okay. i know anything about vr chat i know for a fact that literally all of this is going to be used to do the most disgusting horrifying parties that you've ever seen that should be illegal even in the vr world where is the vr police arrest these people okay straight up also playstation home comes to mind be able to hang out, watch videos together, and jump into apps together. Then there is Horizon Worlds, which is where you can build worlds and jump into them with people. Horizon is designed to make it possible for everyone to create, and we're already seeing people build some really interesting experiences, from creating new games together, to throwing surprise parties in VR that family and friends around the world can join. Over the last year and a half, a lot of us who work in offices have gone remote, and while I miss seeing the people I work with, I think remote work is here to stay for a lot of people. So we're going to need better tools to work together. Let's take a look at what working in the metaverse will be like. Imagine if you could be at the office without the commute. You would still have that sense of presence, shared physical space, those chance interactions that make your day all accessible from anywhere. Now imagine that you have your perfect work setup and you can actually do more than you could in your regular work setup. And on top of all that, you can keep wearing your favorite sweatpants. And as we focused more on work, and frankly, as we've heard your feedback more broadly, we're working on making it so you can log into Quest with an account other than your personal Facebook account. We're starting to test support for work accounts soon, and we're working on making a broader shift here within the next year. I know this is- This is gonna literally like, hey, welcome. If you are a white-collar, work-from-home employee, welcome to living life like a Twitch streamer, where you will have literal micromanagers micromanage all of your time off task. Like, for example, when you walk into the bathroom, they will literally calculate how long it takes for you to pee like my audience does. So that's going to be a wonderful experience for all of you, okay?
This is a big deal for a lot of people. Not everyone wants their social media profile linked to all these other experiences, and I get that, especially robot, as the metaverse robot, expands. Blah, blah, robot, blah. And I'll share more about that later. But I'm genuinely optimistic about work in the metaverse. We know from the last couple of years that a lot of people can effectively work. Like, look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this mother try to justify this psychotic, delusional behavior. I mean, you pee like 20 times a day. Can you? A metaverse coming near you, dude. A six month subscriber or your manager of six months can tell you, you know, you do pee a lot. Chill out. From anywhere. But hybrid is going to be a lot more complex when some people are together and others are still remote. So giving everyone the tools. Bro, he's so scary looking, dude. Billions of dollars and he's still. Like, at least Elon Musk got, like, hair plugs, you know, did TRT, had sex with Grimes, and possibly a bunch of other like women as well. Like, Mark Zuckerberg, on so the other hand, is like, nah, I'm just gonna lean into the lizard look. Like, I'm just straight up looking, like, not human. ...to be present, no matter where they are, whether it's a hologram sitting next to you in a physical meeting, or in a discussion taking place in the metaverse... That's going to be a game changer. I think this could be very positive for our society and economy. Giving people access to jobs in more places, no matter where they live, will be a big deal for spreading opportunity to more people. Dropping our daily commutes will mean less time stuck in traffic and more time doing things that matter. And it'll be good for the environment. We plan to continue to either subsidize our devices or sell them at cost to make them available to more people. We'll Love continue supporting sideloading and linking to PCs so consumers and developers have choice rather than forcing them to use the Quest Store to find apps or reach customers. And we'll aim to offer developer and creator services with low fees in as many cases as possible so we can maximize the overall creator economy while recognizing that to keep investing in this future, we'll need to keep some fees higher for some period to make sure that we don't lose too much money on this program overall. After all, while a growing number of developers are already profitable, we expect to invest many billions of dollars for years to come before the metaverse reaches scale. Today, we're introducing the Presence platform, which is a broad range of machine perception and AI capabilities that empower developers to build uh, mixed reality experiences on Quest 2. Now, you want to tell us more about the Presence platform? Yeah, you know, we've said before that realistic presence is the key to feeling connected in the metaverse. Uh, and the Presence platform's capabilities are what's going to deliver on that promise. Things like environmental... Real sussy how into the Roman shit he is. Understanding, content placement and persistence, voice interaction, standardized hand interactions. In fact, let's start with hands. I mean, the human hand is an engineering marvel. And bringing hands into VR was no easy feat. Uh, it required a lot of collaboration against product, design, research, but we continue to improve that product, finding new ways to navigate with gestures and interact with VR. So today, we're introducing the Interaction SDK, a library of modular components that will make it easy to add hand interactions to your apps. That's pretty exciting. But next year, we are releasing a new product that will push the boundaries of VR even further. We've co-named it Project Cambria. So this isn't the next Quest. It's going to be compatible with Quest, but Cambria will be a completely new, advanced, and high-end product, and it'll be at the higher end of the price spectrum, too. Our plan here is to keep building out this product line to release our most... Oh my god, I just realized something. Mark Zuckerberg is a libertarian guy with an Asian wife. That's why libertarian guys with Asian wives thrive on Facebook. Oh my god. Oh my God. Oh my God. He, he is. He literally is. Advanced technology before we can hit the price points that we target with Quest. All right, so let's talk about some of the new advances here. Yeah, sure. There's a ton of new tech going into Cambria. For example, your avatar. Dude, why is everyone talking like they're like really bad actors? Is everyone at Facebook a bot, dude? Like, do you do you have to if you if you want to rise nice. to the ranks of Facebook, you literally have to like they just hollow out your skull and put in like the artificial chip or something. They all literally look sound inhuman. Okay. They all are like, yes, if you want to tap into the AI metaverse, it is very good. You should do that. 
It's like, I want to do the Gattaca test on him, dude. We'll be able to make natural eye contact and reflect your facial expressions in real time. This way, people you're interacting with will have a, a real sense of how you're actually feeling. It does mean building more sensors into a form factor that's comfortable to wear for a while. And because we want VR to be for everyone. Forgore Baggins, thank you. Forgore Baggins, 80, 86. Thank you for the thank you. One. For we also have to make sure avatars represent a diverse set of human facial features and skin tones, as well as paying attention to things like um, glasses and beards that may get in the way of some of the sensors. Pay people enough so to afford that's going to be a big step forward for days. social presence. And I'm really glad that we're focused on making it inclusive from the start. Now, what about unlocking more mixed reality experiences? I mean, imagine working at your virtual desk with multiple screens while seeing your real desk so clearly that you can pick up a pen and write notes without taking your headset off. Or, you know, you're doing a workout with a virtual instructor in your living room. It's gonna be so cool. We're already seeing the potentials of these kinds of experiences today as people are building for our pass-through API. But with Cambria, we'll be taking this to the next level with high resolution, colored, mixed reality pass-through. We essentially combine an array of sensors with reconstruction <laughs> algorithms to represent your- ah! No! No! Why did you do that? Why did you do that? That's so good. That's so funny. I'm a libertarian guy with an Asian wife too, brother. That's right. You got my- you, you your physical world in a headset with a sense of depth and perspective. But the ultimate goal here is true augmented reality glasses. And we've been working on that too. And today, I want to show you an experience that we've been working on for Project Nazare, which is the code name for our first full augmented reality glasses. This shit has turned me here, into an Here, you'll see you're chatting with friends Take on WhatsApp now, and planning a game night. You can select a game, and then, as you walk over to your kitchen, you can easily just put your game onto the table and you're off. And that's the kind of experience that augmented reality will unlock. There's a lot of technical work to get this form factor and experience right. We have to fit hologram displays, projectors, batteries, radios, custom silicon chips, cameras, speakers, sensors to map the world around you, and more into glasses that are about five millimeters thick. So we still have a ways to go with Nazare. This shit terrifies me, dude. I don't want these mother that have like shown the world that they're not good with manipulating you with the awesome power that they have to have even more access into my life, dude. This shit is terrifying. Like if it was fuck, I just got a notification from live stream fail. Ho gives his take on big streamers still having subathons. How do I stop that? I never want to see that again. Turn off all notifications for Google Chrome. Okay, good. I never want to see a LSF post it got posted. Jesus Christ, that was crazy. These layout, these have layouts of your house with this and the Oculus. But we are making good progress. Inside Vanessa Hudgens is enchanting LA home. Mark attacked you. Yeah, straight up actually. Mark attacked me with a little Chris attack. You know what I mean? I don't think the shit will make it very far. Uh, I don't know. Guess you could say you don't have high, high hopes. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>